and welcome to the first official Kalu Cooks video on Patreon. I asked if you'd be interested in making some meatballs and I got a resounding yes. So you should have gotten that email and recipe in your inbox last week. Now I promised you a video which I didn't deliver on because we had some technical difficulties but we're all up to date and we're gonna make them now and you won't be sorry. So we're gonna start with one pound of pork and one pound of beef. These make a lot of meatballs. I'm not gonna lie, I mentioned that before. Um, I'm gonna go for it. I love having extra meatballs around. So we're gonna make the full recipe. This meat comes from a really amazing farm just outside of town called Kinderhook. They have incredible lamb, they have incredible beef and pork. Um, and I love to shop and buy locally where I can. Um, I'm very lucky to live in a place that is it's really just like a couple minute drive away. Um, okay, so we have our meat. Next, I'm gonna add a half a cup of grated Pecorino Romano cheese. You could use Parmesan, you could use half Pecorino, half Parmesan. I have a preference for Pecorino Romano cheese, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm also gonna use a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs are the Japanese style of breadcrumb. They're a bit crunchier. And although this may be controversial, I do not soak my crumbs. I don't soak them. What I do instead is add grated onion to the mix, which hydrates the crumb, so you don't need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. Just gonna peel this back, spitting everywhere. <laughs> this calls for about two tablespoons of grated onion. Watery eyes and grated onion. It's worth it. That looks about right. just eyeballing things today for the most part. The other thing I like to do is add fennel seed. I have two teaspoons in my mortar and pestle that I'm gonna go ahead and just pulverize and grind down. I love cooking with fennel seed. It has a very anise flavor and smell and it's used a lot in Italian cooking. So I use a little bit just to make my meatballs a little extra special. Fennel seed. Ooh! <laughs> Into the bowl. <laughs> it was a little heavier than I had anticipated for two fingers. Okay. Garlic. Three cloves. I also grate this in. I want everything to sort of get kind of melty and dissolve. Like I don't want any big chunks of anything in my meatball, which is why I grate the garlic, grate the onion. You get me. I hope you get me. Garlic in. Another little special addition is some grated nutmeg about a quarter of a teaspoon. You don't need a lot, just like a little bit. Enough for like a hint of nutmeg. You'll be thinking, what, what is that? You won't really know or think it's nutmeg, but it'll just add like a little bit of something, something special. Next, I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of salt or so. Pepper. About a quarter of a cup of parsley, Italian parsley. Never curly, never.
And last but not least, one egg. All right, now the fun part. Fun part, part one. We're gonna mix everything, gently. We do not wanna overwork your meat. I'm excited. So our mixture is combined and we're ready to roll. I like to use damp hands to roll my meatballs. So I'm gonna dampen my hands. Best tools you need. Okay, here we go. I just realized we don't have anywhere to put these meatballs. I'll be, I'll be right back. We're doing great. Move this over here. Working with what we've got. Gonna dampen those hands again. So the other thing that I like about making my meatballs, or the, rather the way I like to make meatballs, is I like to keep them on the smaller end. So you're looking in my meatball book at about an inch and a quarter. They're smaller than a golf ball. I don't want a golf ball size meatball. I want smaller than a golf ball. Now, this probably will yield over 30 meatballs. Just warning you, we might be here for a while. I don't know. Are they smaller than a golf ball? I, th I think they are. I hope so. How much, how round is a golf ball? I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Have to look that one up. These are, these are smaller. Smaller than a golf ball. The way I like to roll my meatballs, super, super simple technique trick for you. You pinch off a piece you place it in one palm, and then you take the other palm, and you just roll. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 35. We got 35. <laughs> We meet back at the stove over here. I like to fry my meatballs in a Dutch oven because it has high sides, which I know these meatballs are gonna splatter, but if I can cut down on any of my cleanup, I'm gonna do it. Um, so hopefully that will assist me. The other thing I like to do is use a canola or a vegetable oil and combine it with an olive oil, the reason being that olive oil has a much lower smoking point than vegetable, canola, grapeseed, etc. If I, but I want the flavor of the olive oil. So when I mix the two, I get a little bit of hint of that olive oil, but I have a lot longer that I'll be able to keep frying without it going completely smoky in here. About one tablespoon of each. Swirl it around to get every inch of the bottom coated. And when it starts to shimmer, I'm gonna add in my meatballs. One layer, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. We're nearly there. Takes longer than you think. Okay, we're gonna go. Sizzling. These meatballs are beautiful. They came together nicely. Now we fry.
They're all starting to get nice and beautifully brown um, on both sides. So I'm gonna pull, start pulling them out and cooking the rest of them. I'm gonna go ahead and taste our first meatball that we put in. A little tester. It's really good. Gonna fry the rest of these up, put them in some sauce. Meatballs go back in to simmer for a little bit. Enough for four, so I don't know, half? So I put a pot of water on to boil, but we all know it'll go a lot faster if we don't watch it. Gonna grab one of these guys. Oh. See where we are. Cooking time <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, or maybe not. It's not usually this hard. That was great. I really had that day. And put it directly in the pot here. I have a bit of a hard time. Sometimes tongues are better. I'm gonna gently toss the pasta in the sauce. I just want to make sure that my meatballs aren't gonna fall apart. They're, they're pretty sound, but you know, it's the whole point, so. I am gonna add a little cheese. A little bit of parsley. And now we plate. Do four. What the heck? Maybe a little more sauce. And I, I think they're smaller than a golf ball. Gonna have to get back to you on that. And there you have it spaghetti or bucatini in this case and meatballs thanks for watching kalu cooks on patreon